plethora of people out there giving out bad advice. Through. Don't have sex while dating. What do we do when she wants sex? Just say no. Because women are not that into sex. The Los Angeles-based pastor is claimed that people who march in gay parades are the children of Satan. Now several of Peterson's one-time friends allege that pastor owns personal life is rife with gay and sexual relationships. Just just That's riddled with riddled with dicks. Riddled Oxen. with dicks? Wall to wall. Riddled with dicks. <laughs> just dicks. <laughs> just a Tommy gun full of dicks. Women not that into sex. They use sex to control men. Stop it women. there. Some women are not into sex. Some women want to fuck all the time. They certainly don't want sex with a closeted pastor who's a homophobe. No, he's, he's, a, a, he's homophobe. a liar. He's a liar and a homophobe and a racist. And a homophobe. And then he's sucking cock on the down low. Yeah. Simping ain't easy, my Simping man. Simping ain't easy. You know what's easy, though? Simping. Simping is easy. Simping is easy. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. I'm, I'm actually doing good. Uh, I'm feeling good. Uh, how you feeling, Harry? Are you good? Oh, I'm doing great, Dante. I, mean, I can't be doing any better. Uh, I mean, I'm living the life. I'm trying to keep these gators down, but I'm having a tough time doing it. This is difficult. Simping ain't easy, my Simpin man. Simping ain't easy. You know what's easy, though? Simping. Simping is easy. Simping is easy. Wow. That's right. It's like a horde of simps just running around. And even when they not simping, they simping a little bit. You know what I mean? There's they, always a little always, simp, but a little simp is simp. You can't have, a, you know. Yeah, you're right. That's like being half pregnant. There, There is a plethora of people out there giving out bad advice. Uh, all over the, the red pill community that's or no advice. Up. How about that? No advice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just creating like chaos, not helping out. And it just I guess it frustrates us, man. We do a relationship show. I think we do the best one out there. I think we do the most helpful one out there. But there's a lot of people who uh, are giving out frivolous advice. So I wanted to I actually wanted to play something for you, Dante. And I wanted to get yeah, your okay. your thoughts on this. Oh, this one right here. Uh, oh, already you know who this uh, is. This moron. I've seen this guy's face. I don't remember his name. Uh, let's see here. Uh, he he him. would be uh, might be a cousin Ruckus if he's not Uncle Ruckus. But oh, go ahead. Geez. Oh, that's who he is. Okay, yeah, right, let's play man. this and then we'll we'll uh, we'll go through. Don't have sex while dating. What do we do when she wants sex? Just say no because women are not that into sex. They use sex to control men. Women are sex dealers, and men are sex addicts, and so. Yeah. The woman would prefer you not to have sex with her, but she will use it because she know your weakness in order to control you. And then she'll hate you for it. Mm. Wow. You can't just have a completely sexless relationship. She'll what leave. Right. And if you leave, it's not meant to be your wife. So a, just keep turning that's a, down. That's a whore. <laughs> just keep. Whore. So your thing is just keep turning down women for sex and they'll all leave until you eventually get with the one that is willing to wait for marriage. As a matter of fact, that's what the woman want you to do. She doesn't want you to want her sexual. Mm. She want you to res resist her so you, you can bring her into your world so she could overcome the hell that she lives in. Well, showing well, sexual discipline is always good because most guys don't do it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a lot of, a lot stupidity. of stupidity, a lot of stupidity and bad information there. Jesus Christ. The, the notion is don't have sex with any of them. Then you'll meet the one who's meant to be and you will marry her. Mm -hmm. uh, and then she's not a whore, but she, then you'll have a awful sex, uh, awful shitty sex life. With a, right. a woman that you've met. I with mean, a woman that doesn't want to have sex. So now you're supposed to not have sex with this woman at all. And then you're going to have some some hot monkey sex afterwards. And how does that happen? It's just now let me let me start with this. Uh, let me start with this first. This little article I'm going to air. And uh, let me read this. In a hyper-masculine right-wing internet community known as the Manosphere, few figures loom larger than Jesse Lee Peterson. This guy is huge. That's the guy who, the Los Angeles-based pastor, pastor, online radio host, and become a star in conservative media in a part of his demands that men and women return to his unadorned unorthodox version of the traditional gender norms with Peterson's claiming that a woman who orgasms during sex is somehow becoming a man 
a practice he frowns upon. Peterson has also right, emerged the becoming as one, a man part. I mean, it's so much. Confusing yeah, if she orgasm, if she orgasm, she's becoming it's it's you're being a manly. Uh, one of the right most vocal anti-gay figures. He has claimed that people who march in gay parades are the children of Satan and the radical homosexuals are evil. Now, several of Peterson's one-time friends allege that Pastor Owen's personal life is rife with gay and sexual relationships. Just, just riddled with, riddled with dicks. Riddled with dicks. Wall to wall with dicks. Just dicks. <laughs> just a Tommy gun full of dicks. So you Dude. show up to his house. It just looks like <laughs> Sam's hot dick lad out there. <laughs> it just have just just balls hanging out of the wall. The city, the city <laughs> had to come by and go, listen, there's way you got way too many dicks. You got dicks on the lawn. You got dicks in the back. It's a safety hazard. We got to get rid of all these dicks. It's just dicks in the wall. Come on. Get, You're get some dicks. spackle. Yeah. Get some spackle. You could YouTube how to fix these holes in the wall. You hypocritical Peter's- piece of shit. <laughs> You anti-gay trash garbage human being. Two of Peter's former male associates came out in June with one on the record interviews says that he engaged in sexual activities with him while other men say that they they propositioned them, that he propositioned them. These allegations about the pastor who in the public is staunchly heterosexual have ripped like the earthquake. Staunchly, an earthquake through the manosphere, prompting some of Peterson's allies to abandon him and prompting one manosphere conference to ban him. Um, I'm very sorry to have Jesse's situations damage the conservative movement. Patrick Rooney, one of the men who claims to have had sexual relationships, he got him, he got a smash a Rooney on him. He, that means he smashed a Rooney, he topped and bottomed him, he bottom topped. <laughs> Okay. Sexual okay. relationships with Peterson told the Daily Beast. And the Daily Beast is their that's their paper. That's conservative paper. So, so the it, Daily Beast is throwing him under the bus. Oh, uh, like, he, he is he is he is under the bus. Under the yeah, wheel. First of all, don't 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 ever take any re- uh relationship or sex <laughs> advice from a pastor or priest or any religious figure who abstains from sex, <laughs> who is supposed to abstain from sex. What they're not going to they 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 cannot tell you what it's like to be in a relationship. They can't. No. So your priest should not be marriage counseling you. If you believe in religion, I don't. I'm an atheist. But if you're going to go down, you, unless you're going to unless you're going to marry a, a young boy, they do know yeah, about young you go boys. to the Catholic they, Church for the most part. They'll church, tell you yeah. they at least tell you how to cover up the paperwork and move very quickly from place to place. They'll give you a bunch of suggestions for you halls. <laughs> Uh, discount <laughs> codes and, and whatnot. A priest and a, a priest in general, even ones that are not crazy hypocrites like this guy, uh, they do not know anything about relationships. So stop doing that. The the notion that some that a person who that you would go to a priest and do marriage counseling with a priest is absurd. But this guy okay, is can, on can we level. can we run that back? I want to run that back. Okay. I want to I want to hear. Let's go through point by point what this moron, this fucking okay. hypocrite, this. Dick juggler, goggler, cock dick smoker. rider. <laughs> you know I'm gonna get Miron on the on the show. Miron, I think that would be great because 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 I'm I'm trashing him because he's a cock smoker and pillow biter. But the thing is that I don't mean that about gay people in general because what even we have no, have understood. This- that even in any relationship, even if it's not a heterosexual relationship, there's still they're still dominant and submissive. It always exists. So a follower and a leader. Yeah. Always, always dominant and submissive. And, and anybody can understand the yin and yang of that, but it exists in every relationship. Remind me to talk. We're going to go through this, but yeah. remind me to but talk we're very, about, but we're, yeah, it's not, you're not making fun of him for being gay. If he was openly gay, the problem is no, he's, he's, a, a, he's a liar. He's a liar he's, and a homophobe and a racist and a homophobe. He's a homophobe and he's a he's he's perpetuating the kind of the kind of uh, attitudes that that create that perpetuate violence, bigotry and violence. And, and then yeah. and then he's sucking cock on the down low. Yeah. Wall to he's, wall cocks. So many cocks. He's smuggling cocks in his ass. You know so what I mean? Wholesale, wholesale cocks. 
don't have sex while dating. What do we do when she wants sex? Just say no, because women are not that into sex. They use sex to control men. Stop it women. there. We can stop right there. First mm. of all, some women are not into sex. Some women want to fuck all the time. Mm. And even women who want to fuck all the time don't that don't mean that it, they're indiscriminately and they're just giving it up. Yeah, they, it doesn't they, mean it, they're it's, whores. It's about a connection to the person. One dumb comic, fucking Dan Dan uh, Natterman. Uh, we we were doing a uh, um. We had the girl on the. Remember, we had the girl on the on the show, the library girl who went viral because she masturbated. Kendra in, uh, Kendra James, I think. Yes, cutie, real cutie. Yeah. But she was she was actually trying to give. Uh, uh, she was trying to fuck uh, Andre. Andre. She wanted to make babies with started. Andre. Dan Natterman goes, "Do girls like when you come in your when they, you come in their face? Yeah, you know, some girls do like." coming if but they don't want everybody's coming to fa- in their face now if you got a girl that likes everybody's coming to face mm, um her daddy uh, fucked her you know like this something there's something wrong with you can't it. want but everyone's coming you can't want everybody you can't want all you can't want you have to be very discreet discretionary with the cum you know you'd be very selective with the cum because <laughs> it's a process that creates attraction and if you're not creating attraction um, there's something wrong, but anyway, um, so go ahead. So, so him saying that women don't want sex, it's just, that's not true. There are women who want sex. There's women who are asexual, who don't want sex. There's well, women they don't want, who want they sex. D- they certainly don't want sex with a closeted, uh, pastor who's a homophobe. Yeah. They mm-hmm. don't want sex with you. And, and that dude looks like a hobo. If he yeah. had a, a stick with a, with a scarf, a kerchief. Yeah, right. it would it would match. It would match. Yeah. They would be, you know, you're not a, on TikTok and they go, "What are you wearing?" He'd be like, "He stick from hobo, mm. um, <laughs> uh, dirty underwear from Balenciaga, whatever." <laughs> he, he just looked nasty. But go ahead, continue. Women are sex dealers, and men are sex uh, addicts, and so yeah. the woman would prefer you not to have sex with her. But she will use it because she know your weakness in order to control you. Then she'll hate okay, you. Okay, so let's stop mm. there. Let's. Mm. I hate the. I mm. wanna. I wanna knock that dude's hat off his head with a bat, with a <laughs> with a with an aluminum softball bat. You don't and go wood. You go full aluminum. Aluminum. Go- I. W- I want to hear that. And I'm not gonna that. just knock the hat off. I'm going. I'm going full blown right in the middle where I know there's some skull there. Right. You fucking. Oh, mm. Let me tell you something. Men, let let's be honest about this. We understand that there's a biological aspect to this, where men like are have at a younger age have a higher level level of sex drive, right? And because they have a higher level of sex drive, absolutely, they are driven to have sex more. Um, also, when a guy doesn't have options. He will have he will want sex because he doesn't get it. When a guy has options, you'd be you know, I've had girls come where I was I mean, look, don't get me wrong, I'm 57 years old. So my my testosterone is well, it's it's back up now because of the because of the pellet. I in fact I gotta re-up my pellet. But the reality is it that changes. There's a biological reference to this. It it just it's not it's not just a one size fit all and men move through their lives at different points and times in their life. It's biological. So, and women are not, and, 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 and the only way that a woman can use sex to manipulate you is, is if you allow if, yourself if, to be manipulated. If, if you allow it. Yeah. If you, you say that my, just my self-respect and my manhood is, is, is not worth my, uh, is worth a piece of ass. Yeah, you can be manipulated. You can also be manipulated by drugs. You can also be manipulated by little boys, Jesse Peterson, is what you do in your own time, you fucking little fucking lying ass freak. You can also be be addicted to to cocks. You might be you might have cockitis where you just love sucking cocks in the privacy of your of your own ministry. Yeah. So <laughs> in the vestibule. In the vestibule, in the in the in the in the the, the confession booth, yeah. 
just cocks everywhere. But go ahead, let's walk cocks. This guy, oh, all right, let's let's see here. I, I just way. dread that I gotta hear this guy go mm, again. This guy, you mean? Are you talking about Leslie Jones in Migos? <laughs> Look at this guy. You know, we're always talking about accountability, but there's no, no greater accountability than supporting us on the Patreon at patreon.com slash manschool202 helps us keep doing what we're doing. Yeah, that's right. Patreon.com slash manschool202. That's where we do all the bonus content for the show. Uh, we talk about a lot of game, a lot of technique, and we also archive all the old episodes starting from episode one. So if you love the show and you want to support the show, come on over and join us at patreon.com slash manschool202. And if you can't do that, at the very least, do us a favor, like and subscribe below and tell your friends. And do all. Do all of the above. Yeah. Peace. Let's go. You can't just have a completely sexist relationship. She'll leave. Right. If you he's the only one with logic in the room, apparently. With some logic. He's like, with something some about logic. this is not fishy. Something and about I... this this guy who's wearing very bright, a very bright polo for a, a heterosexual man. But anyway. This guy's is... who this this homeless guy who managed to steal a shirt from the Banana Republic. <laughs> he got it from the lost and found you cousin ruckus over bag. here. You leave her. It is not meant to be your wife. So that's just a, keep turning that's a, down. That's a whore. <laughs> just keep. Whore. So your thing is just keep turning down women for sex, and they'll all leave until you eventually get with the one that is willing to wait for marriage. As a matter of fact, that's what the woman want you to do. How would you know, Jesse? What the what, what women want? Hey, but, oh gosh. She you know when you want- said that. Harry, I thought that was coming out of the video, and I was like, somebody with a voice of reason. No, nope, but sorry. no, it was you, no. Harry. It, it was, was you. me. Sorry. The only one with any common sense is that one guy with the goatee. He will he will eventually uh, end up doing a video like, hey, guys, so I guess you've noticed I'm not on the red pill wolves anymore. And um, <laughs> is so that what they call red pill? I just made it up. I don't know. I don't know what their show That's is. Pretty good. That's pretty good. Just, yeah. I just want to let you know a couple things went down. Uh, the second time they stormed the Capitol, I was just not with it. Uh, Twenty twenty four, when they stormed it, I was just like. And Jesse Lee Peterson tried to suck my dick <laughs> on the break. Uh, we had him I, on again. He immediately tried. He invited me to the to the uh, back for some prayer. I was like, I'm and Jewish. It, and it and it just it just turned me off from insurgents after yeah. that. Once so, he tried to put his hand his mouth on me, I was like, since, you know. Ever since he tried to blow me, I can't listen to Nick Fuentes anymore or uh, Andrew Tate or whatever. Here we go. I want you to want her sexually. She want you to res- resist her so mm-hmm. she, you can bring her into your world so she could overcome the hell that she lives in. Well, showing well, sexual discipline is always good because most guys don't do it. Yeah. It's, it's oh. a, a voice of reason. Okay. Yeah. Sexual discipline Easy. is a good thing. Fair it enough. Is. Con- it is. Continue. Yeah, no, that was the end of the clip. Because was, they, that, oh, that was it. So uh, just, that was, just that dumb shit alone. That's it. Right. I don't have the full. I'm sure there's more to it, but uh, we can only. I mean, I can play you another clip of his if you just want to see that, which I pulled. Oh, uh, why not? Why not? You're a pastor, right? Yes. And you're a radio host. Yes. Okay. And you, you're you're a gay man, right? Also, you're a you're gay a, man. You're a you closeted, like cocks. <laughs> you're a closeted homophobe who uh, is angry at homosexuals because. Uh, <laughs> You have a deep yearning inside you that can only be cured by massive quantities of cock. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, I am. Yeah, yes, yes, I yeah, am. Yeah, yes. You said you believe white people should have more children. We definitely need white babies, and I tremble at the idea that white babies, that the white uh, group is going down in numbers, because if you lose white folks, America is over for America. Because if you notice, why that guy that guy's looking at it like makes sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gotta see his face now. That's he's like, he's like this, huh? This, okay, this guy's got something here. Something about this guy. He goes, "We need more white babies." I'm listening. Okay, <laughs> America. Because if you notice, white people tend to be more innovative. They're more creative. They they have ideas about things. All these other races don't do nothing but destroy. They don't build, they destroy. I would, I would love a Spanish dude to jump and says, "What do you know about salsa?" Yeah. Oh my God! What a fucking maniac! Who, who invented salsa? White people. Can you do this, Jesse, more white. Jesse Peterson? And he would be like, "No, but I like it." Yeah. <laughs> why, don't you, why don't you come back to my ministry? And we can talk about it in depth. 
It's behind closed door. You cock smuggler. Shut up. You lying hypocrite. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better male. Better male. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.